After a sexual encounter, a 19-year-old girl named Jade begins to be plagued by strange visions and an overwhelming feeling that someone or something is watching her. Hello everyone, this is Director of Hollywood. Today I'm going to tell you about the movie It Follows. The film opens with a scene of a girl running away, being pursued by an unintelligible creature. The next morning her mutilated body is lying on a beach. Oakland University student, Jay, goes on a date with her new boyfriend, Hugh. That night, Hugh points to a woman in the back of the theater. When Jay says she can't see her, Hugh gets nervous and asks them to leave. On their next date, Hugh and Jay have sex in his car, but afterwards he incapacitates Jay with chloroform and she wakes up tied to a wheelchair in the Packard factory where Hugh explains that she will be haunted by some otherworldly entity that only he and she can see and that can take the form of anyone. If it catches Jay, it will kill her. After they see a naked woman walking toward them, Hugh takes Jay home and runs away. The next day, the police cannot find the naked woman or Hugh, who has been living under a false name. At school, Jay sees an old woman in a hospital gown walking toward her, but invisible to others. Jay's sister, Kelly, and her friends, Paul and Yara, agree to help and spend the night at Jay and Kelly's house. That night, someone breaks the kitchen window. Paul looks around, but sees no one. Inside the house, Jay sees a disheveled, urinating, half-naked woman walking toward her, and runs upstairs to the others, who cannot see the creature. When a tall man, seemingly without eyes, enters the bedroom, Jay runs from the house. Her friends catch up with her in the nearby playground. With the help of their neighbor Greg, the group discovers Hugh's real name, Jeff Redmond, and traces him to his address. Jeff's mother opens the door, and Jay realizes that the naked woman she saw at the Packard plant was in the form of Mrs. Redmond. Jeff explains that the creature stalks those who have had sex with previous stalkers. It began stalking him after he himself slept with the person the creature had stalked before. He also says that his sex with Jay was the only way to get rid of the creature, but if it gets to Jay, it will kill him and then stalk Jeff again afterwards. Greg takes Jay, Kelly, Yara, and Paul to his family home on the lake and teaches Jay how to shoot a revolver. The creature arrives in the form of Yara and attacks Jay on the lake shore. Jay's friends drive it away by breaking a chair over its body, and Jay shoots it in the head but it proves unharmed and attacks Jay again, taking the form of a boy who lives next door to Jay. Greg. She runs away in Greg's car, crashes into a cornfield, and wakes up in the hospital with a broken arm. Greg has sex with Jay in the hospital, as he does not believe the creature exists. A few days later, Jay sees a creature in Greg's form walking toward Greg's house. He breaks a window in Greg's house and goes inside. Jay tries to warn the real Greg on the phone, but he does not answer. She runs into the house and finds the creature in the form of Greg's half-naked mother knocking on his door before it jumps on Greg. Jay sees the creature having sex with the dead Greg, then Jay runs away in his car and spends the night outdoors. At the beach, Jay sees three young men on a boat. She then undresses and enters the water. Back at home, Paul, wanting to take a chance, offers Jay to hand it over to him, but she refuses. The group plans to kill the creature by luring it into the pool and throwing electrical devices into the water. Jay, waiting in the pool, notices the creature and realizes that it has taken the form of her father. Instead of entering the pool, he throws the devices at her. Shooting at the invisible target, Paul accidentally wounds Jara, but he shoots the creature in the head, and once it is covered by a sheet, he fires again, causing it to fall into the pool. As he pulls Jay under the water, Paul shoots him again, and Jay runs away. She walks over to the pool and sees that it is filling with blood. Jay and Paul have sex. That night, Paul rides around town, passing prostitutes. Later, Jay and Paul walk down the street holding hands, with a figure following them. That's all for today. 
subscribe and like it if you want more videos like this.